Hello YouTube, it's Steve. Uh, so here we have some very unique mobile suits. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are the first time you have ever seen them. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen them before, which is going to be in the SD form. Um, I do know that they appeared in a video game, the uh, SD Gundam G Generation. But you know what? I don't I don't play video games that much, so I never I've never seen them outside of this. But yeah, they're pretty much Gundams just with a mono eye. Uh, but it's kind of weird that they don't say Gundam in the name whatsoever. But the history I've read is that they actually uh, derive from the Gundam frames. But hey, that is, is what it is. Now these two are going to be the same exact model, just rendered in different colors. I looked, I looked around. I, I don't really see anything different with these. So I'm basically going to do a double review. But I'm, I'm pretty much just going to glance by both of them, just because they're both the same thing. And if you want this kit or any other cross silhouette kit, definitely go to NewTypeHQ.com. Use that promo code CROSAMA for 10% off, and you can build a little army of yours. So, let's get into the unboxing. So, looking on the side, you can see right here that you can actually rearrange it, and it could be a high-speed cruise mode. I don't know how efficient that is. Uh, I mean, there's no resistance in the space, so maybe it's more for if you're in the atmosphere. Uh, but, yeah, it looks kind of stupid to me. So, um, yeah, moving on. And just looking at some of the things it's going to come with, uh, it does come with some beam sabers that actually have beam effect parts. So this is actually something that I seen with a lot of the other cross silhouette line is that they really didn't have any separation between the beam effect and the actual beam hilt. So yeah, this is, is a good step in the right direction. So uh, so thank you, Gumpla God, for this. And of course, it's going to have a mono eye right there in the corner, and you can move it both, you know, left and right. So that's really cool. And it's going to have the eye field launcher, which is just a massive, massive cannon. So pretty awesome. Really excited to go ahead and uh, see how it looks up in person. And you can use the cross silhouette frame and basically go ahead and uh, amplify the proportions. And here's how it's going to look with the CS frame attached. So the proportion is going to look just super beautiful. And I cannot wait to see how it's just how it's just going to rank among the other SD cross silhouette kits. So the normal version is number 9 in the cross silhouette line. And the Titans version is going to be number 10. And both costing roughly around $10. And if we look on this side, basically just saying that the uh, color separation is going to be on a whole nother level in comparison to the other SD kits. And here it's just telling you that these kits actually derive from the G Generation game, as well as the manga. And both are going to have the A1 runner, which is going to be a gray SD frame. And here is going to be runner B1. This is going to be for the normal Sasquade. So basically just going to have some uh, navy blue, you're going to have some red and some white. And B1 on the Titans version is going to have that very nice blue, black and some red. B2 is going to have some yellow, some white, and some navy blue. Uh, the yellow is pretty much going to be for the V-fin. You got some parts for the vents, and uh, obviously the white is for like the head. You got parts for the waist right there, and for the faceplate, so looks pretty cool. And B2 for the Titans version is going to have some yellow. It's going to have some blue for pretty much the faceplate and all the of the same parts. And then black right over there in the end. And B3 for the normal one is going to have that same color scheme. So basically, you got some red down there for the foot. You got some white and some uh, pretty much, it looks like black, but I, I, I'm kind of more considering it a navy blue. And for the Titans version, you're going to have black, you're going to have red, and you're going to have more blue for this runner. And runner C is going to be more of like inner frame parts. You got the main weapon, the cannon over there in the corner. Uh, so both of them are going to be the same exact runner. Both will have beam effect parts. Stickers are only slightly different, whereas the uh, Titans version is going to have a couple of extra white stickers. And both are going to have this clear pink mono eye. And lastly, they are both going to have the uh, pretty much the same exact instruction manual, uh, just obviously different colors. But that's it for me, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on building this. Uh, you know, got to build that army sometime soon. But yeah, regardless, that's it. So uh, definitely appreciate all of you for watching. And like always, Love, rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, if you want to pick up these kits, definitely go to NewType.com or NewTypeHQ.com and you know pick these up if you want, as well as pick up some of those uh, cross silhouette frames. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.